Hey YouTube, what is going on everyone? It's Hunter here. Welcome back with another video today. Um, first off I want to say we're almost at a thousand subscribers. Um, please subscribe if you have not subscribed already. Over 90% of people that are watching my videos are not subscribed. I would really appreciate it. And that's about bonus incentive. When we get to 2,000 subscribers, I'm going to release my NVIDIA Inspector profile that I was working on. Um, that helps reduce your input delay, but while also keeping your FPS nice and high where you don't have any drops. It keeps it steady all the way through the game. Um, so yeah, let's get into the video. Uh, so today's going to be a little different. I'm um, going to show some steps to double your edit speed as fast as possible. It's things that I work on every single day when I get on. It's my first steps. Um, it's a little pre-building thing. And uh, it doesn't take very long and it doesn't take much effort. So it's a really easy thing to do every time you get on. So the first thing we're going to do is only press our edit key over and over again. A lot of times when you're hitting multiple edits in a row, that you're doing this and you go hit this edit and you choke this edit it's because you're pressing your um confirm button so like if you're on controller it'd be like your right trigger like your right bumper um if you're on mouse it'd be like your uh your left clicking where you click edit or you're starting to move so you're not like pressing your edit key already if i warm up by just pressing my edit key over and over just for like 30 seconds so then next we're going to actually edit the pyramid, so just twice, don't spam it. That way you're making sure you're actually editing twice. If you screw up and you're like this, it means you're not clicking in the right order. Don't think of it as actually editing the, the pyramid, think of it as a sequence. I also use edit on release. I highly recommend using edit on release as well from edit on release. Makes it much smoother to edit faster. Then you can do this once you get a rhythm. Okay, when I mess up here, you can see that just when the number goes over one, because I'm clicking my mouse before I'm clicking my edit button. The other way to practice this is doing it with a floor. Try to keep that number at one. Don't worry if you mess up, just try to do it as fast as possible. I'm looking in the right order. Done. So next step now is doing that. But to show you how to do it, it's edit the wall, floor, ramp, edit, wall, floor, ramp, edit, wall, floor. This not only helps you work on piece control, but if you fall, it helps you work on catching yourself. Screwing up edits. And if you mess up an edit, don't do a different edit. Like I messed that wall up. Um, if you, like, you're gonna miss edits in games. Say you're in this box and someone's pressing and you're like, Oh crap, I gotta get out, and you do that. Don't, like, panic. That's, that's the number one thing people do. Just, just get it and get out of the box. It's a good thing to practice when you're actually walking out. So the next step we're gonna go into is doing what I kinda did in the beginning. Just doing it with the pyramid in the cone. This gets you used to editing your wall farther away. I created my wall there. It's a good habit to get into of editing your wall farther away. That way, if you're pushing this box, you're like, oh crap. Let me take a shot. You don't have to actually run up to your wall to edit. I see that. I see a lot of players make that mistake, and it's a half second where you could have got that shot off. But instead, you edited your wall from so far away. Okay, so after you do those things, with the cone, the cone wall edit, the stair, the wall. After you do those two things, we're gonna go right back to this, but we're only gonna do as fast as possible. 
Let's see, look, I'm already screwing up less time. Compared to when I first got on. Okay. So, I'm gonna teach you guys how to do this. Double edit. Really simple. Okay. I want you to think of it. Edit, edit. Edit, edit. Way to practice this. Have four cones, stand on one cone, edit, 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 edit. You screw up, start over. What this helps you with is when you're build fighting someone and you're like, oh, I got him. Boxed. Boom. You're in the box. Do you know this doesn't actually like help you for free building? Edit, 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 edit. The times you screw up when you do this, it's gonna be because you did not click in the right spot. Click like there. It's not because you weren't editing fast enough. So that's why I practice it like this. All about getting your cursor in the right spot. Yeah. The next thing. You'll see a lot of free builders do, do this move. So they edit down and flip the ramp. I think that's a horrible thing to practice because you'll never actually do that in the game. If you want to know what you will do? Is this? Oh crap! He wasn't in that box. So edit, edit, go down, come out a sidewall, and continue your free build. After you're warmed up. You can practice doing your free builds, and if you screw up like your side jump, and you're like, oh crap, I'm underneath. Make sure you piece control, place your walls, and go through. Read up the edit, still keep going. Don't try to not lose your momentum the best you can. Another good thing to practice is the Mongrel Classic, or what actually works better this season. The last season was all about the Mongrel Classic. But I got really good at it, but this season you do that, someone's ready for it, and they just charge you in the face. So what to practice? It's actually a little different. Stays in that box. You come at you from a sidewall, either from here. I usually will place cones like that. So they can't box you. You can even, if you're really safe, you can do it quick enough. You come up to someone's box. Like this. Just do that. Practice with editing. Feeling that wall. Place in the counting side. It'll get you a free shot eight out of ten times. They're not ready for you to place that cone. People think, well, I'm gonna open it up and take a shot. First thing they try to do when you steal their wall, someone's on my wall and I go, oh crap, I'm gonna place a stair. But if when you steal that wall, you go, you get that cone in, they're not shooting back. 80% of the time, they're not looking to shoot, they're looking to build. You come up to their wall and you go, boom, free shot. Then you can also do anything else out of after that. Half the time though, you steal this. Boom, you get a free shot. They're gonna edit out this back and you can just go, they build up, box them again. Or if they don't build up, you can just spawn across, box them again. It's all about practicing those few edits. And when you fall, always try to catch yourself. Don't let yourself fall to the ground. So I'm just gonna do a quick recap. The order here. Number one, edit the count. Number two, actually edit the count. So I'm not resetting in between this. I'm just clicking edit over and over again. Number 
number three. Edit the wall, edit stairs, wall, floor, ramp, edit, edit the wall, four, edit the cone, number five, all of the cones, oh, I'm gonna that up so bad. Number six, double edit on the pyramid. Number seven, edit through the cone. There, wall, wall. Edit out the side. You can do whatever you want after that. Just practice that multiple times. And remember, if you screw up your edit, continue to go through that edit. If you get stuck in your cone, and you do this and you go, oh crap, I screwed up your edit. Don't turn around. Just, just take the edit. Learn how to edit. Look down. Learn how to edit in different spots because when you're fighting in a game, a lot of times you actually can't move. You have to do the edit. Alright, remember when we're at 2,000 subs, I'm going to release my profile so that you guys can edit this fast. And see, as you can tell, I'm not using a macro because I'm up my edit all the time. You can see how low my input delay is. So 2,000 subscribers, I'm going to release that profile. Alright, I hope you guys enjoy a video like this. Let me know if you want uh, to see more tips for, like, shotgun shooting, box fighting, how to push boxes in arena. Um, let me know if you guys like this style of the video. Uh, peace out.